Hey, this is Freefall. I'm going to be doing another tutorial for TeamSpeak 3. This one will be uh, setting up a server via the Fire Demon. So this will be basically doing a server remotely. First thing you have to do is get Fire Demon. You have to pay for it. Um, some servers offer it free though. So, and this is the one that is most commonly used for servers. Okay, first thing we're gonna have you do is click the add button on the fire demon. New service definition, I'm just gonna use TS3. Display name, copies down. Open up the location of the A executable. For me it's I'm running 64 bit on this system. For you it might be a little bit different. So uh first you want to do is select the executable, hit open everything's there one last thing you have to do is go to settings show window hidden install you will get a confirmation window okay okay there you go I'm gonna start it up connected as you can see I'm currently running beta 25 now let's talk about updating with Fire Demon. Okay, now that you're logged in, you should still be logged into your server. Fire Demon's running. First thing you want to do is look. Uh, see, there's an update. Hey, look, there's one. Ooh, fix several vulnerabilities. Basically, what that means is the token system. Someone found a way to hack it and log in as an administrator and delete everything on your server. Actually, kind of ingenious. Actually, the way they did it. This is a critical server update. Update immediately. Actually, you don't technically have to update. All you have to do, if you don't want to update, is go under guest, filter, type in token, use token, and remove that permission. You won't be able to use a token, but really, you shouldn't have to now. You're already an administrator, and if you want to give someone administrator abilities, right-click on their name, and bam. It's really not that difficult now. They've done a good job updating it. Okay, now, but if you want to update, first thing you would do is obviously go to the downloads up here, click it, and you know how to download it. Then um, I um, would upload it to the root folder right above where the TeamSpeak is installed. As you can see, I have all the, pretty much all the betas, recent ones um, here. Um, and then what I'm gonna have you guys do is just stop the server. Hit the little stop installed fire demon service. I'll stop. There is a delay, so I'm gonna be eventually I'll be kicked. I won't be able to switch channels though, so that's an indicator that the server's been shut down. Eventually I'll get a little disconnect. So then um now that you have the server shut down and stopped, all you simply have to do is right click extract here yes to all connection lost and now all you have to do is start the service connected there will be a bigger delay connection lost hmm. give it a couple seconds really it would be kind to allow um, your people time to disconnect but thing is this isn't really legit server connected see that sometimes happens user in your channel timed out oh timed out and then right click change name and just delete the one there you go so that's basically how you um, update no there's gonna be a delay I'm doing this on my home computer, um, not on my server, actually, so, um, there will be a bigger delay. Um, no, you might, you'll probably be in a web browser, depending on what how you have your setup, so, it's real, there's really no difference than the way I have it set up and the way you do, except this is a lot quicker.